So very often in physics, we are dealing with a system of two or more objects, and it is often convenient to treat that system of multiple objects as being one single object. And that often requires the calculation of the center of mass of our system of objects. So let's suppose we have two objects, object A with mass MA and object B with mass MB. And both of these objects lie along the same imaginary axis, let's say along the x-axis in this case. Now, let's suppose the origin, the point in the beginning is the point zero and the location of object A is given by the variable XA and the location of object B from the zero mark is given by the variable XB. Using these four variables we can calculate the center of mass of our two system object and it's given by the following equation. So the center of mass, the location of the center of mass with respect to the zero mark is equal to the sum of the product of the location and the mass of the object and we divide that by the total mass of all the objects. So we have XA times MA plus XB times MB divided by MA plus MB. Now, this formula only works for two objects. What if we have two or more objects? Let's say we have n objects. Well, then we have to use the following formula. So, we simply take the sum of the product of xi, mi, where i begins with the first object and ends with the nth object. Now, likewise, we divide that by the sum of the mass of all the objects we are dealing with in our system. So let's use these two formulas in the following two, equa two examples. So we have example one, example two. So in example one, let's suppose we have two objects of equal mass that are placed along the x-axis as shown. So we have two objects of mass, let's say mass m, one object is placed 5 units from the zero mark and the second object is placed 15 units from the zero mark. Using this information and this equation, we want to calculate the center of mass of our system of two objects. So we use this formula, so xa is 5, ma is simply m, plus XB is 15, MB is M, and the bottom is M plus M, so 2M, so we're left with 20M divided by 2M, the M's cancel, and we get 20 divided by 2, which is equivalent to 10. So that means the location of the center of mass of our system of two objects is found right in the middle of these two objects at a position 10 units from the zero mark. And that makes sense because these two objects have exactly the same exact mass. Now note if the mass of object A was larger than the mass of object B, the center of mass would be closer to object A than object B. And likewise, if the mass of object B was greater than the mass of object A, the center of mass of our system of two objects would be closer to object B than object A. Now, let's look at example number two where we're going to use this formula. So, three people stand on a horizontal board with negligible mass. Now, they stand as shown below. If person one has mass of 70 kilograms, person two has mass of uh, 90 kilograms, and person three has mass of 100 kilograms, we want to calculate the location of the center of mass of the three people system. So, person one is found six units from the zero mark, Person 2 is found 12 units from the zero mark, and person 3 is found 20 units from the zero mark. So, we want to use this formula from i equals 1 
2n equals 3. So we have three different objects, three different people. So xcm is equal to m1x1 plus m2x2 plus m3x3 divided by m1 plus m2 plus m3. So m1 is 70, x1 is 6. m2 is 90, x2 is 12 and x3 is 20 and m3 is 100 divided by 70 plus 90 plus 100 gives us 260 so we multiply these out we take the sum and we get the following result so our center of mass location of the center of mass with respect to the zero mark is approximately 13.5 units so 13.5 units from the zero mark so that is approximately in this location so if we're treating our three people system as one object the center of mass of that object is found in this position 13.5 units from the zero mark